bottom of the inning now. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Ryan Braun. The one two. Ball. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Santander's got it and there's one away. Now batting. Not Jordan Digging in. Robin Young. It was a walk in his no. last trip. One out, nobody on. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, d -Row. That now extends batting. his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking in the three Dang series man. right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper hey. adjustments at the plate. And it's one and two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The one two. Skied into straightaway right. Markakis is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The batter. Now seven. is the designated hitter, designated Mickey hitter. Mantle. A couple of Mickey. singles to his credit thus far. Mantle. Now the one and one pitch is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. A runner on first with two away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Royals leave one. They lead it six zip. Seventh inning ready to roll, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Cal Ripken starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one Aye. nipped the corner two and two Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hit hard to third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The third base. At the plate, Brooks Robinson, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Bases are empty, one man out. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Well, when you've been out there as long as he has, you have to expect to lose a little precision in your location. He's up over 90 pitches now, so he might be starting to tire a little bit. Something to keep an eye on. So here's Trey Mancini. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Big breaking ball and a beauty. One and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind.
trying to send him packing for the second time. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. At the plate, Anthony Santander. I ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for the Orioles. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Standing in, Tony Perez. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Now that he just tattoos this ball right here. Eddie. Tried to sneak a fastball in on him. Matthew. No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap. And that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that baby up. Your Michael Rooker comes on to pitch now, now hoping for better ball. results than the other Number arms that they've run out there in this one. Michael Rooker. Stepping in now, Eddie Matthews. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't miss it Up right there. The Hammer job. The right fielder, Andre Johnson. So now to the plate, Andre Dawson. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. From the belt, the pitch. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man Up there. The One away. The catcher, Gary Carter. To the plate now, Gary Carter. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Grounded to the right. And that is in the right field, the base hit. And to score is the runner from third. It's 7 0. Now batter. Sometimes the you got to tip your cap. The pitcher oh, spotted yeah. his pitch down the zone right there, Denver. below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Standing in now, Ryan Sandberg. Inside, ball two. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Ah. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better, and you can bet he wants that one Three, back two. at the plate. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After to Santander. 
He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. The left fielder. Digging eight. in, Ryan Braun. Oh, yeah. Two outs and two runners oh. aboard here in the seventh inning. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Royals seven and the Orioles nothing. Austin Hayes the next to bat. We're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business Matt. He's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settled him in. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two as mentioned early in the broadcast this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep and at this point in the game it's looking rather promising. Hey Matty V Yogi Berra had a great saying it ain't over till it's over well this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are this one is pretty much in the books. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. He's really racked up the now strikeouts in this one. The and this guy's been victimized Adley. three times already he today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. In now, Adley Rutschman. And he takes a called strike two. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They're all out in full force coming to the ballpark, hoping to witness nope, a sweep. Ball. And it looks pretty good at this point. The count now at two and two. Now here it comes. Three balls, two strikes. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead it's a long foul ball. Now a ball lined to the left side but foul. Still three balls and two strikes the eighth pitch of the at bat and it's fouled away. Hey this is a heck of a battle right here. Long a B. You know what. They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And that's under his glove. Oh, he picked his head up, and it's into right field. You know, D-Roll, there's been some great pitching in this one so far. After that knock, that's only the third hit of the game, and we're getting late into this one. Yeah, they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes. Well, I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. they got to start to swing the bats a little bit better. That's their third knock of the game. I know it's late, but maybe they can get something going. Into the box now, Brian Roberts. Line hard. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Count remains two and two. Runners on first with one down. Here's a high pop up. Yount moving to his left. Two gone. The right field. Coming to the plate now, Nick Markakis. It was a walk in his last trip. Two out with the man at first. Yeah. 
and it misses three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. A payoff pitch one more time. And that's low ball four. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Murray. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Working on hanging another zero, the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Ready with another 2-2. Two, two. two men are on with two men out. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Orioles strand a couple. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Ladies Sean and Armstrong and is now in a mop-up role as he'll try now to keep the deficit the right where it is. Number 43, Sean Armstrong. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And stepping up as the shortstop, Robin Young. The one-two. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Now batting, center fielder, Johnny. At the Damon. plate, Johnny Damon. One out, nobody on. Swung on and grounded out to Cal at short. Right to him. Throw in time at first for out number two. The batter, number seven. So here's hitter. the cleanup hitter, Mickey Mitchell. Mantle. He's two for three and Mitchell. looking for more here. Soft liner to the right side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Ninth inning coming up. The Royals lead it seven to nothing. Your Lee Smith please. comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the Number ninth. 46. Lee Smith. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Cal Ripken, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Oh. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact.
Four. He's fallen Three. behind now. Three and one. Brooks Robinson will be next. Hard hit ball to second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Dan, I know you fight as an offensive player to get in a 3 1 now, count. Now. What's the tension Rookie. level on the mound throwing Rookie. this guy a 3 1 Peter? That's one of the things you don't want to do. You have a game plan when you go into this, and you're, the game plan normally is get ahead with strike one and make hitters expand the zone. 3 and 1, not a good time to throw a fastball. At the plate now, Brooks Robinson. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Action in that KC pen now as a right hander's begun to loosen up. Ready to deliver the one and two. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. This one three, sinks three. low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Another payoff pitch. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially yeah, troublesome but when you give up a hitter. single right before that right. to start the inning. We'll Man. see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Striding into the box, Trey Mancini. None out, runners at first and second. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Come set now the pitch. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats so the count will stay put at one and two. Got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective. I think Matt what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels that fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball at the plate Anthony Santander oh a fastball swung on and missed and for the second time today he's gone on strikes it's been a really rough day for this lineup there's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Into the box, Austin Hayes. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He makes the catch, and the Royals finish the job and complete the series sweep of their rivals at home. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series, breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. A 7 nothing shutout final today. The Royals hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Tom Seaver with his fourth win this season as he racked up ten strikeouts in the effort. Clayton Kershaw was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Orioles, no runs, four hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and one minute. 